just getting out of this shower it's currently 9 17 and i tried on my little leotard so this is the skirt in a medium as you can see like dance stuff really runs like really tiny i like that it's long enough in the back i was like what is that i'm watching that wednesday show on netflix i really can't get into it i literally restarted the first episode three times and i'm still just not into it i'll show you guys what these shoes look like on i didn't put any socks on that like when you get to dance class and you're like warming up in the class or like outside in like the waiting area or something you wear these over your canvas shoes so they look like So I need to get ready for that. Look at my hair, isn't it just lovely? It is three minutes to four o'clock. First thing I'm gonna put on is my tights. Ugh. Get dressed with me. Next is the leotard. My socks on. My leg warmers over. And then I actually, I'm just gonna throw on some joggers. I low key wanna cut the um, tag out of it. But I don't want to mess up the seam of their shorts like at all. These are so stinking cute. Look at these. This is the fit for today. And then I'm going to wear this sweater. I think this is really cute. I'm going to put you guys right here. Okay, my hair is all finished. I'm just going to grab a clip and just clip this up like that. Nothing spectacular. I know I'm gonna be hungry because I haven't eaten anything. I don't have time to eat right now to like make something and then like have it digest. So this is what happens when I'm running around. I thought I had the whole day to do this, and apparently I didn't. I didn't do what I was supposed to do today. I just procrastinated, and this is what procrastination gets you rushing and they do allow you to be like five ten minutes late i think they don't let anybody in class after 10 minutes but like what's the point because you won't get a good spot you'll be all the way in the back and they have like these bars obviously like the bar that we use for balance and posture and all that fun stuff but if you don't go early and get like a good spot they do have them bars like like this on the back wall but like i'm face this way versus like facing the instructor because so I have to like try to follow along and I hate it. That happened to me one time and I was like, oh no. I'm just like super specific with my hair. Is anybody else the same way? Like some people just clip their hair up and they don't care. I have to like make sure it looks good. about the lighting guys i had to turn on like the bathroom light just so i can see what i was doing and this the fan sound is like super annoying i'm mixing the victoria's secret teas with the victoria's secret i spray so much i'm sorry um i like to smell good this is the teas with the cream cloud i'm done okay i'm getting out of here i did some blush a little lip oil from mara i'm obsessed with this this is in the shade bel air i just used my kylie like pink eyeshadow it's a pink eyeshadow that i use as a blush mascara from merit and then like i use a little bit of brown eyeshadow for my brows super easy i'm ready to go i almost forgot i'm gonna take my warm-up booties just so when i get there early i can put them on and stretch um these are from Balak. i really wanted the pink like baby pink ones but 
they were they were too big when i went to the store to try them all they were like huge so she only had like a size large normally i'm a large and like slippers and stuff because i wear nine um but i got a medium because they were huge on my feet Sammy Moon, welcome to another sassy vloggy vlog. It's currently 9.30 in the morning. I have just about an hour and a half before I have to be to ballet. It is a Saturday. I don't normally have classes on Saturday, but I have like a pass for when I was signing up for different schools to see where I wanted to take classes. I signed up for this place and never went because I liked the first place I tried out. So I have basically a voucher that I paid for. I need to use it. Obviously I had a dance class yesterday because it was Friday um, and I asked one of my friends like hey have you ever taken classes at this specific um, like dance company and she was like yeah and I was like well, how is it and she was just like not bad I mean it's okay and I was like oh my goodness that doesn't make me feel like excited to go I don't know if I want to wear something pink like last night I had a white leotard um, pink shorts and the volley pink tights I could definitely do a pink leotard today um, a black tight and a black skirt. I'm super nervous about going to this specific class mainly because I've dang I need to get your brakes fixed today. Anyways I'm a little nervous about going to the class today just because I haven't taken one at this specific place so you know how that is when like it's a new place um new people you know and obviously it was the same way when I went to the first school but now that I've been taking a couple classes there I'm pretty used to it what was I gonna say? Um, sorry, a guy walked past and he was looking at me. I feel like I'm never gonna get my makeup done, but I need to hurry up. I'm a little nervous just because it's a new environment for me and I already got pretty comfy at the place that I take classes and everybody doesn't know my name, but they know my face. Like every time I come in, they're like, oh, where have you been? I haven't seen you. Or um, you're the girl that always wears the cute pink stuff. Like last night I wore a white leotard, the ballet pink tights, um, and my pink little cute shorts with ruffles on it. And after class a girl came up to me and was like oh my goodness where did you get your shorts like they're the cutest things ever and i also have a friend named jay i met her in dance class as well she always walks past and she's like you're so cute so it just makes me like you know i feel like very much in my element there the girls are super welcoming so nice um i feel comfortable and confident in what i'm wearing i feel that way anyway but you know how it is in like a new place you're just a little nervous Decided. I'm gonna actually wear black tights today. 
why not why not black tights pink leo and maybe a black skirt i'm not doing that i'm gonna wear a pink tie because I wear leg warmers. I'm obsessed with leg warmers. I have to wear leg warmers every time I take a class. I just, once I started buying them, I don't go back, you know? So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I have just realized I never really wore my blue skirt since I started class. This is crazy. Okay, I've decided. We're doing pink today just because I really like pink and it makes me feel really pretty. So, yeah. See my underwear. My gray leg warmers again. I mean, I can wear the black ones too. Those are in the bathroom. And then I can break it up with a black skirt. How's that? I think this is. Okay, this is really pretty. <laughs> My black leg warmers, let me grab this. I think I'm just gonna go to class like this. I'm not even gonna worry about putting pants on because that's just too much right now for me. Okay, we're gonna do socks. I'm gonna do these basic Puma socks. I know they don't really match. I just wear these so the hole is like covered. And obviously I'm gonna take these off and put my canvas shoes on. But I do like socks over. And then we're gonna do black again so we can break up some of this pink and i almost always wear my uggs because they're just comfortable and they're quick to throw on my stomach is growing oh my goodness i don't know it's kind of like throwing me off because it's not necessarily like i think i'll just wear this because i haven't worn this in a while perfect this is actually really cute that's the thing about ballet i feel like maybe people just assume you have to match and you don't that is the beauty of dance you don't have to match at all i kind of love this the only thing i would change is like if i had enough heart i would cut a thumb because i think this is just flattering i like when my stuff cover my hands i need to put on deodorant it's just so easy to throw on like i love this yeah this is my columbia fleece i'm obsessed with this i genuinely adore this i'm thinking about just wearing some type of i mean i don't really care do i need shorts do i need pants i don't think so i'm literally going and coming back i don't think i need anything fancy i don't know i i try to take too many layers because the more layers i bring the hotter i get honestly truly and like i'm already nervous enough so i don't want to bring like a ton of stuff and like be yeah, I'm just gonna rock out like this. And honestly, I can pull my leg warmers up to kind of keep me a little warm. It's not too far from my house, so I don't need to like bundle, bundle up. This is good. Okay. Look into you, look into you. Boy, you're my favorite son. Look into you. Hi, boo. So I am back home. <sighs> okay, let's talk about this class. So definitely was a workout. We got so much done. She doesn't just focus on like one thing and then you're done. She is very much fast paced. I know it's a beginner class, but like the girl, like the tension in there is way different. Um, shout out to the girl named Chanel. She is also a brown girl. You know, you gotta rip, gotta rip. She was really sweet to me. <clears throat> okay, so first impression, like I went in there, it didn't smell too great. It's very small. I didn't even know where to go. There was like no clear instructions. You don't check in. It's just like, I already didn't like that because I was hella confused. I was like, okay, I know it's a second floor, but like, okay, I'm on the second floor. Then it was like a yoga thing on the second floor, and I was like, this isn't it. So I go up again. It was just a little confusing. Now that I know, I just don't like confusion. After that, there's like no warm up. I mean, I guess you just get right into it. There's no like stretching and all that. There's like no space for that. Um, 
and then once she's done with the class you go right in you they have like these lockers which is really nice because normally at the school that i go to now they don't have lockers so we just leave our stuff like out which probably is how my airpods got stolen i'm not gonna say that i don't know they could have dropped whatever um but yeah i like that they have like the self-lock thing so it's like four codes four numbers and you can like turn the knob and you take a picture of whatever that is and then you like lock it somehow it's, it's self-explanatory that was cool first impression you go in class she's like she knows everybody's name she remember mine like i love that i love when a teacher can remember your name this class was very much smaller um but the teacher was super intimidating at first which is not a bad thing it's just super scary would i go back yes but i don't know like i would have to be a regular in her class the girl's like you should come back her name is phoebe she's like you should come back you're so nice you're so cute and i was like i am terrible like i am bad she's never gonna want me to come back in her class again and it's like there's no place to ever record in there like ever when they were making noise in the hallway she was like Shh. she'll start the whole lesson over again and i was like I'm not like coming for her the class was like it was good it was a nice to stretch we did a lot of like you know like actual turning and that was really fun because i don't get to do that just yet um we did the thing where like you tap tap leap into the air like you know across the classroom like in threes like in the pyramid or whatever she calls it that was all really fun it's just she was really intimidating <laughs> i don't know for me i need to see you do it and like hold she told me I did good though after class I was like I'm sorry I'm like so bad she's like no like you did really good she's just kind of really stern she knows what she wants as an instructor and if you're not doing it she's gonna start all over and it's just like oh dang I messed up so now everybody has to start over it's kind of one of those things where it's like it was very nerve-wracking I wasn't the only one wearing pink though there was another girl wearing like the same leotard she was so cute and then I went to Target got some stuff I went to insomnia I got some cookies I totally forgot that I got cookies the other day are they still good I don't know I might need to put them back in the oven but the reason why oh are they in here this is why I didn't realize I had cookies I'm just gonna throw these out so this is like $16 down the drain because I had three of the sugar cookie I know, chocolate. They're just going in the trash. Ugh. Got some boom chicka pop. Regular plain rigatoni pasta. Got some vanilla soy milk. This is also something I'm really bad at. Like, I never know when I open it. I need to get like some Sharpie so I can write so I can know when to use it and like when to finish it by. I'm so bad with that. Green beans, blueberries to snack on, and then I picked up some of Annie's vegan mac. That's why I also got the milk. I got the milk for coffee, but also for this. I don't have butter, which is fine. And then I have some pasta, the pasta sauce. Yeah, I'm hungry, but I don't want fat. I don't want any of that, and the water is boiling, so I need to figure it out now. Ugh, I'm cold. I was gonna put my robe on, but I'm about to take this stuff off anyway. What else was I gonna do? I guess this was a get ready with me for a dance class, but I wanted to take you guys with me. And I really would have vlogged, but the lady already was live streaming. She has like a camera on the wall. And then, toward the end of class, like, I don't know, like where I normally go, we have our water bottles right next to us by the bar. And the girl was like, you might wanna move that. She's not gonna like that. And I was like, what? So like, instead of me having to put my water bottle all the way over at the windowsill like i'm not even over there with my bar i normally keep it near me so i can just drink it in between like our breaks or little pauses i should say and then i put it back down if i have to like get a drink of water all the way across the class and she's live streaming that's just not a good look so i just put it like in the corner and she was like i think that should be fine then towards the end of the class i was getting my stuff and the teacher came over to like stop her streaming and she was like i need to get over there and i was like just say excuse me like sorry so i like i'm crawling on the floor pu like pushing my stuff because i crouched down to grab a drink but she came over like i need to get right there and i was just like maybe some instructors just want their students to be like i don't play which is fine like i get it because if this was like me practicing for a show and like i'm in a nutcracker or something 
I would need to be on my P's and Q's, not saying just because I take classes like for fun and for exercise that I shouldn't be on my P's and Q's. But like that was my first class with you and you know that because she came up to me and was like, Sammy, and I was like, yeah. I don't want her to take it easy on me. I just like the tone. And then it's just like, you're live streaming. So you're like, where the hell are you putting this? Because they're gonna know my face and then I'm messing up your class. I wasn't terrible because she told me that she was like, well done, well done. And the thing is, I like to watch first and then I can do it. Sometimes I like, they'll show you and she's like, I'll do one side with you guys and then we do it all together. Uh, but it's still confusing. It's just, there's a lot of technique. I still don't know all the different terms and what this means. Because sometimes this means to jump, this means to plop your foot, but then like tap, then bring it back, then pop that way. And it's just like, <laughs> maybe ballet is not meant for me. And it's weird because I would go back because the different exercises that we did is really fun. We're not doing that at my other school because she focuses on like maybe little slow things at a time which is nice because it's like the ultimate beginner class this was also a beginner class but i was like hopping across the stage like literally hopping leaping and i was like oh this is different my legs don't go like that i don't really want green beans but yes i'm sorry but there is like absolutely no way i can record in that class like absolutely none 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 i don't even want to ask her i don't even want to prop my phone up no one else had their phone in there i did I bring my phone? Yeah, I brought my phone because I don't know the code. Like, I was, that was my first time with the locker. And I would have literally forgot the code and left all my stuff in there. So, I had to bring my phone and I brought my water bottle. And then I walked into class like this. And then I was, like, stretching and I was like, oh. Can you tell I was nervous? Yeah. I put everything else away, but I actually do that all the time. I always forget my sunglasses on my head. <sighs> I made it. <laughs> I made it and it was, like, a good workout. It was really fun. That was so scary. Anyways, I'm gonna end this sassy vlog here. I thoroughly hope you guys enjoy this get ready with me for class type of vibe. And I'll see you guys in my next dance vlog. I love you so much. And yeah, don't forget to stay sassy and courage. Always be kind. It's really but love and positivity. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next vlog.